Hi friends. Hi friends. Welcome to the channel. What a journey it was. Finally, we could do our laundry in the Lando Park of Weerftal. And when we arrived, I immediately recognized this place. And it seemed like a place where I was in my youth. When I was around 12 or 30 years old, I was there with my parents and my neighbors. So while doing the laundry, we had a little walk around and I tried to guess which house was the one that we rent. <laughs> we, I didn't know anymore. So it was a nice walk, it was a nice day and it was so good to have fresh laundry again. After that we went in the direction of Pittsburgh and we saw a place on Park for Night uh, which was at a farm and it was, it was nice. It was very it was nice, nice actually. And there were young goats. Yeah. Young it was, goats. It was just three hours before it, uh, the little one was born. So he was still wet and fresh and the mom was looking after him. Couldn't stand at it on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost not. And we bought uh, at a farm shop some delicious sausages uh, to eat. And we had a good night was very cold but we had a very good night and there were animals too right oh yeah there were rabbits chicken chicken cute dog cute dog as well and goats of course and horses <music> the next day we were having a day in the car and we had a lovely route alongside the river the Mosul. I have never seen so many blossom trees in one day. It was really amazing. Winding roads, there was so much to see. Vineyards, vineyards, mm -hmm. vineyards, vineyards, vineyards. Where you could look, there were vineyards. I think the, the route was almost 200 kilometers. So in this video, um, there's a lot of uh, driving footage. I hope you like it. So, um, but it was it was too good not to film it, and it was it was stunning.
also did a short stop at uh, Bern Castle where we had uh, lunch at the riverside. The city was full of half timbered houses and cobblestones, so it's very nice and cozy to be there. The Mosul route uh, stopped at uh, the city of Koblenz where we turned right and we went south along the Rhine River. We ended up at Sanquashausa to see the Lorelei. It was a very nice place. We were at a camper place uh, with several other campers uh, next to a blossom tree. And it was very weird that there were birds singing at night. Really loud and really, really much. Loud, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know how many it were, but it, it was just like, well, we have a concert here. Yeah. And the next day, the next day, we went to the cliff. But first, we woke oh. up from the noise. Oh yeah, lawnmowers. Lawnmowers, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Seven o'clock. There were lawnmowers, so yeah. they chased. So much for the peaceful night. <laughs> they chased the birds away. We did the Lorelei route, um, a short walk, and with all kind of. Uh, stones with uh, speakers in it where you can listen to several stories like the Lorelei. Maybe you remember that from the saga. The Lorelei was a woman who was sitting on a mountain in the bend of the deepest point and the sharpest bend of the Rhine and she was singing her melancholic songs to, well I don't know why, but all the ship's captains were well, really distracted and they were enchanted so they fell in the river or the boat sink and they couldn't, they weren't uh, in time to see the band so mm -hmm. I don't know what happened with all their bodies but um, oh, I don't know, it's just a story, a saga. Lorelei is combing her hair with a huge comb. It's huge.
after this wonderful visit with excellent views, we went on winding roads to a place uh, that I came often with my family in my youth, and that is called Nassau on the Lahn River. And uh, we came there and it was totally changed. <laughs> the, the, little, uh, the little bistro was still uh, near the uh, railroad track. Um, and the swimming pool was there and the campsite was still there, but the town was, was modernized, uh, different. And it was kind of disappointing because I have very fond memories of that time in my youth with the family. Um, I, I think it was almost 50 years ago that, uh, that we came there. So. Uh, so. Cut. <laughs> um, but one thing was uh, truly different from uh, the time in my youth, and that was the castle on the mountain uh, close to Nassau, which was a ruin still when I was a boy, and now it was fully restored. So we uh, climbed up a forest uh, path and um, we entered the tower and the castle. our climb and walking the stairs of the tower we thought it was time for a little reward there was a terrace and they sold lovely beers unfortunately the kitchen was already closed but we had beer and that was enough for us and we had a lovely dog and some interesting water trays for the dogs <laughs> yeah. with three kinds of of wine so the dogs could <laughs> choose which water they take we didn't want to stay the night in Nassau because the, the mm. free parking space that the, the community provided, it's also nice that communities do that, but uh, it was kind of a strange, it was near a bus station and it was, people I don't know, they, they, people were working there yeah. and they, they were going to start uh, building uh, probably at seven o'clock in the morning. So we decided to move on a little bit and we ended up in a very strange place because it looked kind of funny it it looked like a castle but it was white and later we discovered that it was a roman place from the old days yeah and uh, but we couldn't enter the next day because it was only open in the weekend and yeah. I, I think we were there on tuesday or, or wednesday yeah, so wednesday or something yeah. and they also do concerts there and it, it was a, a great place i was wondering how it would look inside now from the outside it was a bit kitschy i don't know the word for yeah. it in, in english word. Uh, but we had a beautiful sunset though we had a beautiful sunset yeah but there was a lot of wind uh, also unfortunately and it was still a little bit cold we started planning for the, the next day because uh, there was a lot of traveling involved again. Uh, a bit larger distance because we wanted to finally start the ferry tour route in the city of Alsfeld. So the next video will be about that. I hope to see you then again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> we hope to see you next time again. Bye bye. See ya. See you.